the most important element is the, the, the vision, the vision of, of how to create prosperity uh, anywhere in the world. And in the last 64 years, our movement, which started as a student movement, has been uh, explaining to uh, our people that prosperity can only come from from uh, producing goods and services by families and individuals and companies and then selling them. If I produce something, a, a product or, or, or a service, and I sell it, I get money. And if I do it again, I get more money, more money. So the more I sell, the more money I make. And in that way, I can be able to support my prosperity. So th that is what shaped our, our thinking. Because here in Uganda, we had a lot of, of, of sectarianism, of religion, of tribes. But we were able to, to show them that their sectarianism is wrong. The, the problem has been that uh, some, some of the actors divorce politics from economics. And that one can't work. The present crisis in Africa is partly due to that. People, people are talking about things which have no, no, no meaning. Politics, just power. It's not just power. It is, it is medicine to problems, solution to. So I'm glad you are talking about that. About the, the crisis, these crises are are really ideological. Because like the problem in Ethiopia, it was created by uh, the politics of identity. Uh, I am Tigray, I am Oromo, I am... If I told uh, Isaias, when they came, and uh, Meres, why are you, why are you talking about uh, identity? Oh, they said, uh, because the Amhara have dominated us. Okay, they dominated you, but now they are, you have defeated them. So why, why don't you reorganize Ethiopia in a new way? remove the, the domination by the Amhara, but keep Ethiopia united. I have enough uh, experience to run for the post. I have been a foreign minister for the past 20 years. I know the, the African Union very well. I accumulated enough experience. And today I think that if my country, President Gele, decided to put forward my candidature, uh, it is thanks to this experience and I think that uh, I'm uh, able to bring some responsible leadership at the, the African Union Commission. We know that uh, the Commission is not uh, working properly. I know that there are a number of uh, challenges related to the staff, to the uh, financial management, to the way in the reforms that have been enacted by our leaders, yourself, um, are not properly implemented. This is number one priority as the chair of the Commission. I would like to really bring some leadership uh, to improve the way the Commission is functioning. 
the other issues, actually, Your Excellency, I came to listen to your advice, to your guidance. Peace and security uh, is, you know, one of the cluster that uh, I promise to work on very hard. Uh, Djibouti and Uganda are members of the ATMIS uh, mission, and we are working now on the first ATMIS uh, mission in Somalia. Uh, we have to handle in the Horn of Africa the Sudan crisis, and uh, President Gele thanks you for your role. You even during the last summit uh, proposed that the generals come to uh, Kampala to meet. You proposed the venue. Uh, you are also very in, involved in bringing peace to Eastern Congo. Uh, challenges of the continent are numerous. It's very difficult to talk about developing agriculture when there is no sustainable infrastructure for that. Uh, when our Malabo uh, Convention or plan on developing agriculture on the continent are still lingering on. Just to give you an example, in the eastern part of, of, of the continent, um, the reports, the recent reports on the agricultural reforms, they're saying that none of our countries are on track to reach the Malab Malabo Convention goals. Uh, I have been listening to your uh, speeches for the past 20 years, Your Excellency. I always learn from your perspective, your ideas, that transform transformation of our uh, economies are the key priorities. 